हॅलो स्टुडंट लॉकडाऊनमध्ये आपल्याला सिलेबस चालू करण्याची गरज आहे म्हणून आपण बायोलॉजीचा एट चॅप्टर चालू करत आहोत रेस्पायरेशन अँड सर्क्युलेशन सध्या आपण लॉकडाऊनमध्ये पाहतो आहे की बरेच लोक कोविड नाईन्टीनने सफर झालेले आहेत हा एक प्रकारचा रेस्पायरेटरी डिसीज आहे म्हणून मी हा चॅप्टर चूज केला आहे की आपण आपली रेस्पायरेटरी हेल्थ कशी चांगली ठेवू शकतो ओके या फर्स्ट वी सी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑल लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझम्स रिक्वायर एनर्जी टू कॅरी आउट व्हेरियस लाईफ प्रोसेसेस ऑल लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझम मीन्स मायक्रो ऑर्गॅनिझम प्लांट ॲनिमल require energy to carry out various life processes all living organism made from cell and cell have various processes like cell growth circulation transportation cell division all these require energy which is in the form of atp next definition of respiration it is a biochemical process of oxidation of organic compound in an orderly manner to liberation of chemical energy in the form of ATP. It is one type of biochemical process, oxidation of organic compounds. Why organic compound? Because in our body, energy is stored in the form of or complex organic compound which is not in usable form. it is converted into usable form like atp but in in an orderly manner means in reaction c6h12o6 is the glucose oxidation 6co2 liberate two by products 6co2 and h6h2o and liberate 38 atp molecule this glucose directly not give rise to 38 atp molecule in an orderly it passes through three phases glycolysis krebs cycle electron transport system and then liberated near about 38 atp molecule this atp molecule is the usable form cell use this atp as a energy not organic compound used as a used as a energy it is an usable form so this process conversion of use unusable form to usable form called as respiration the site of gaseous exchange is called as respiratory surface respiratory exchange is a simple physical process means diffusion for efficient gaseous exchange the surface should have following features three important point the surface should have large area surface is large it should be thin vascular vascular mean high highly supplied with blood vessels because blood is a transport material which transport o2 and co2 and permeable to allow exchange of gases and it should be moist surface should be moist gaseous exchange in plants the shape and structure of plant facilitate gaseous exchange by diffusion simple process diffusion means from high concentration to low concentration transport for example environment have o2 concentration more than o2 transport from environment to plant this is called as diffusion the terrestrial flowering plants has many air spaces in between the cell there is a spaces of stem leaf and roots all part have the air spaces these air spaces are continuous oxygen diffuses in the air spaces through the stomata stomata the pore on the leaves and young stem stomata present on 
lives as well as in young stem not the mature stem these small pores are also called as stomata this stomata continue with air space and from this pore o2 is en entered into the tissue by diffusion process the second diagram is of woody flowering plant tree or shrub it has external bark this dark black color part is the bark which has white spot is the lenticle lenticle is the small pores in the stem surface right this white white pores is the lenticles through which gases exchange takes place means in plant there are two parts or structure stomata and lenticles through which gaseous exchange takes place respiration in animals as compared to plant animal show wide variety of respiratory surface organ or surfaces or organs the respiratory surfaces differ in various animal in see here in chart number of animals and number of organs variety of organs this is depend on habitat and complexity from lower to higher means complexity and the, the middle column is the habitat means respiratory organ or surfaces is according to complexity and habitat in chart here you see the first from lower animal protist means amoeba plasmodium paramecium these are the protist sponges spongilla cylindrata hydra all these are aquatic habitat is aquatic and respiratory surface is plasma membrane next flatworms like planaria annelida example earthworm maries leech amphibians frogs these are aquatic or semi aquatic earthworm and frogs are semi aquatic sometime they live on land or live in water they have respiratory organ like plasma membrane general body surface means skin but skin should be moist insect terrestrial means live on land in last year in cockroach we see tracheal tubes and spiracles arachnids like spider and scorpion they are terrestrial have book lungs limulus arthropod which is aquatic have book gills amphibia tadpole larva of frog and newts larva of salamander these are aquatic larva of this frog and salamander salamander is truly land vertebrate but their fertilization and uh, larva is aquatic they have external gills gills which is present inside the body is internal when present outside the body is the external gills fish it is aquatic and have internal gills reptiles birds and mammals they are terrestrial means live on land and having lungs is a respiratory organ turtles which is underwater habitat is underwater and organ is cloaca cloaca is common opening for excretory and digestive system and another function is respiration in turtle 